Borderless creativity is something that Ogilvy really believes in. It's really at the foundation of all the work we do and we believe it is what allows us to create work that has real impact. And what it actually is, because you know, it's a big concept, is about removing the borders between things. So removing the borders within our own network, for example, so we, we often cross-pollinate ideas, collaborate with other agencies in our global network, and we find that that's a really rich way to work. And we also um, define borderless creativity as removing the borders between things, so between technologies, you know, rather than separating into different disciplines, we remove the borders between them so that it creates this free flow of ideas and it's where really interesting work happens when things intersect. So technology intersecting with media, intersecting with film, intersecting with digital, you know, just as many interesting intersections that can happen as possible, that's where the true impact lies. I think we had 15 teams uh, participating in the Young Lotus competition this year and they all brought yeah, uh, an immense amount of um, energy and excitement uh, and creativity in all their work. Everyone was really worked really good at presenting their work too, which was great. And hopefully that's something they learned over the few days of workshops that we had with them. Um, in most part, I think everyone really stuck to the brief pretty well, right? I think the brief was very tight uh, and single-minded. So everyone came with that in mind and didn't go off brief so much. I think um, some would, you know, we had some tight discussions in the in the judging room afterwards to go through all the ideas and pick the four finalists that were most on brief in terms of getting attention and the goals of, uh, from our client. I'd say in terms of trends, there was not really a common sort of trend in terms of, you know, ideas or execution, but two things uh, they had uh, in common was one, the nature of the brief was actually centered around pop culture. So something that, you know, it's universal in common. But secondly was, there was a core insight in every of the ideas that they presented. And that's coming back to, you know, like being human and being relevant to, you know, um, I mean, they were all from different markets. So they came in from a point of view from their local nuances and, you know, a culture and insights. So, and you know, the platform that the briefs was, uh, you know, talking about is something that is very human. Um, heat happens, which you know pretty much is a very human, uh, you know, uh, centered uh, platform. So that was the main common thing that we had. We selected the Dakar team unanimously um, because obviously their their idea was you know impactful, entertaining. Um, everyone was you know reaching for the stars, going big because we told them to go big. There's no money involved from with these projects or these uh, competitions, so they can think as big as they want. And they had a really uh, fascinating way of bringing their idea to life um, around centering around pop culture. Uh, true to the brand it was really refreshing. It, there was a lot of great ideas, but that one just stood out because it was like square on in every aspect, uh, and that's why we loved it. The idea was. Um, it was centered around pop culture and the two, um, you know, the people in that execution could be interchanged. So whether it was running into you know, the region like Asia or whether it's, you know, somewhere else in the world, um, that's very interchangeable. So the idea was uh, universal enough. Um, I mean, that was part of the strength of the ideas in terms of cultural uh, insights, probably some other, you know, ideas from the other teams, uh, you know, had that even more. Um, but that wasn't you know, the main uh, criteria to be picking. No, the brief was to come up with a global idea. 